I've got to look at it from both ways. You know, the the hypocrisy. It would be hypocritical of me to say anything other because Scotland managed to get to the last Euros via a Nations yep. League place. So I obviously value the competition. Whereas I'm looking and listening to Jordan Pickford there, he values the competition as well because of the games they're playing. But if you're Kevin De Bruyne, you've played so many games this season. And they're going to qualify for major tournaments anyway. Mm. I can understand his view. Where do you boys sit in it? I think I'm with um, Kevin De Bruyne. Um, a long, hard season. So many games that have been f- um, fit in. Got to the last stages in most competitions. Like Even look at the Liverpool players that um, have got to go and play in the Nations League. So many games. And they've got pre-season starting in mm-hmm. probably less than a month, most teams, because of the Premier League starting early. You've got a World Cup coming um, halfway through the season so it's going to be a long season for a lot of players with the World Cup as well so I feel that they could have done with at least a good month off these players you know that was normally the minimum you'd get um, as a player in the summer to um, rest yourselves so you can see it from De Bruyne's situation but maybe from other players they'll see it as it's a chance to get some international caps look at the likes of Jerry Bowen mm-hmm. you know he, he would Definitely want these Nation League games. He's got a chance to score for his country, make his debut for his country. So you can see from different players' point of views. What do you think, Stuart? Have, have we got the balance <coughs> right or do we need to look at it in terms of <clears throat> international fixtures, players getting a rest? Because make no mistake about it, I, I, I understand totally the, the normal working man's out of the house at six o'clock and looking back at six at night. I get all that. Mm. understand it totally. But if we're asking players to perform at the Peak mm. of their abilities week in, week out. Are they getting a big enough rest? I've got sort of a mixed mentality, really. International football's given me the biggest highs I've ever had, more so than, than probably club football. Yep. So I see the importance of international football. I, I think somewhere down the line, I think if they're going to lose matches and want to lose matches, I wouldn't be losing international matches. I'd, I'd be more... I'd, I'd probably prefer to go down the line if we are going to lose games, minimise a team or two out the Premier League Mm -hmm. and have less domestic games but keep the international calendar. I think the Nations League's been brilliant. I really do. Playing real Mm -hmm. key games against each other rather than friendlies has been much more beneficial. And listen, if you ask anybody at the end of their careers, yourself included, Gabby as well, you know, we've all played international football and if someone says to me, like, we're going to call this international off to give you a rest or you can go and play for your country, I'd be there like a shot to play for my country. So. Yeah, I, I take your point, Piercy, but Gabby, is there a change within players' mentality now because of the, the stature uh, uh, of European football, Champions League, for example, Europa League, is there more influence on that now than... Than ever before, and on international, fo- and more so on international football. Oh, I, th- I think Pierce is right. Players do want to play for the country. They want to get their caps up. You know, the players on twenty-five caps, they want fifty. Mm. They want fifty. They want hundred. So they're going to want to play in these games. But you can see from someone like Kevin De Bruyne had a few injuries this season. Mm-hmm. Probably thinking a long hard season. I'd love to go and just rest up for a month before pre-season starts. It's going to be a hard season again next season. Going to the World Cup. So you can see that the the, the that the they want the rest, but I've got to agree, Percy, as well, that players will want to play for their countries, and it's a proud moment when you do look back when your career is finished to play for your country. It's something that you know you can't take away from players, and something that some top top players haven't had the chance to do. Well, it's funny because I look at both squads, but we're talking about England and Scotland here, and I get the impression that the players within both those squads, Piercy, really want to turn up. They really enjoy getting away with an international team. And I don't think that's always been the case with Scotland and England, maybe in, in some of the other home international teams. But I just look at Scotland now and England now, and I think they've got a squad of boys who are believing in their manager, they're believing in the, the way their team's been playing the game and moving forward, and they're enjoying turning up. Mm. I think as well, that is 100% the case with, with both of those nations, that's for sure. But, you know, when... When you look at a squad of players, you've got a 25-man squad now. You know, chances are that the key players probably don't play in the games in the Carabao Cup. You know, your big players, you look to rest them. Certainly the big teams that are playing in Europe. Um, We've tried to rotate, certainly, our experience at West Ham, the likes of Declan, who's been away, or Thomas Suchek, playing an incredible amount of games. So we've tried to look after them in the international... in. uh, 
in Europe yep. in these group stage games and stuff like that. So I think you try and help them out a little bit. For me, everyone wants a Euro- an extra European place. The, if that's at the cost of international football, I'm not in favour of that mm-hmm. personally. But, but PC, from you being at um, West Ham mm-hmm. and being um, a coach there, do you look at it and think, oh, I'd love Declan Rice to have a good rest in the summer, have a good month off, getting back into pre season? Or do you see it as, you know, if he goes away of international, then he goes away? Because managers. Um, probably 15, 20 years ago would like their players to probably not go away yeah. and have their summer to, to rest. No, I totally agree. If you ask me what does Declan Rice or, or any international that certainly played last summer as well yeah. and probably the summer before that, what do they need? Do they need a long break and a long rest? The answer is yes, but I, I find... I'm not a big lover of sort of people that go on to the management and coaching side, having experienced a, a decent sort of international career and, and really embraced going away internationally, a turn round to come the other side of the fence and yeah. say, I don't want my players going away because it, it, it's given me the best times of my life yeah. in some ways. Yeah. So you've got to support <laughs> that. And if you if I went to Declan and say, Deck, we're going to pull you out the international squad, so he would say, no, you're not. Yeah. Yeah. There's too much pride involved in yeah. Declan representing England. So... There's a balancing act to be had there somewhere. I'm not so sure. It's always at the cost of international football. Mm-hmm. And I think maybe the clubs are playing how many domestic games? Yeah. I think we got we played 58 domestic games at West Ham this year. So if, if you really want to do something about it and give the players a rest, don't cut into the international uh, scene. Cut into probably the domestic and cut yeah. the league games. Clubs don't want to do that because of this, because yeah. of the money. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.